Hello. Hello. We're back. I hope. We're back. Um, let me think here. So we had a bit of downtime. Um, everybody sort of, you know, we had some people pay attention to some of their mysteries and, uh, you know, work on their uh, logos, their their life. Uh, and we had Amon just recover. Um, spend some time recovering, I should say, uh, as he got a little a little hurt in the last last adventure. So um, I think we've determined uh, uh, some people uh, have some plans for the non downtime. Um, are you all coming together? Like, how are you you going to go about this? You have the phone, right? Um, and you have the Star of India, the, the restaurant. Those are the two <coughs> main clues that you have. So what are you doing with that? I send a text to everybody to come over to the shop Thursday night for pizza. Who are you? What did you do with Lorelai? <laughs> what did you do to the pizza? So we actually I see those it, I, those texts. It, the text back says, Lorelai is already one with us. You're next. <laughs> so, um, Lorelai, do you have like a name for Amon on your phone? Do you call him something other than Amon? <laughs> asshole. Yeah, so it says asshole. Who are you and what did you do with Lorelai? <laughs> <laughs> And we see, like, Eddie's name and Vivian's name, right? No? What nobody, are they called? There, nobody has na names on there. What are they called? Uh, well, Vivian's nickname is Casper. <laughs> <Right. laughs> the not-so-friendly ghost. No. Fair enough. And how about Eddie? Uh... Vivian was so easy. Just trouble. Okay. Just trouble. So you got trouble, asshole, and Casper. I think um, you know the viewers would know. Like anybody that watches the TV show, <laughs> mm -hmm. New Seattle Riffs, would know who these people are just by reading it. But this is the first time we're actually looking down at our phone. Um, you know, they they transferred the data of the SIM card, which was fine. It worked. Um. They did ask you how what the hell happened, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I've never seen damage like this before. I, I, I was charging. There was some kind of like short or something. I don't know. Whole yeah. outlet was all fucked. <laughs> but uh, That's yeah. So uh, yeah. Um. Is everybody, does everybody respond that they're going to come? What are you going to do? Yeah, we'll... Yep. Go. Yep. And, uh... Let's see here. My glasses are bothering me. Um, Amon, do you do anything before you go? With the phone, or... Yeah, I take a look at it and see what I can figure out beforehand okay yeah i mean you look it over uh do you want to like do like a straight on investigation of it or what yeah because it's cracked okay so we'll go ahead uh we'll make an investigation roll on the phone right so let's sure. switch over to you uh amon let's see here um so the phone is cracked right so it makes it easier uh -huh. so you'll get a plus one from that do you want to use think on my feet yeah i think that's fine or patience one of the two can i can i give him on a help yeah patience. probably patience because you're going to take your yeah. time with it rather yeah. than making it quick i think thinking on your feet is if you do it quick patience is going to be you know taking your time and just going through and trying to figure out what you're missing right yeah can i give and you a help on Okay, so you'll have a plus, th plus three to the roll. So you'll get Correct. three clues. Because you were trying to fix my phone when Vivian broke it. Yeah. 
All right, so I rolled a four and a six, so it's a ten plus three is a thirteen. All right, you get to ask three questions. Um, what information is, can I find on the phone referring to uh, what we were looking for, which was the, I guess, the disappearance or whatever? Mm-hmm. You you find um, as you do on phones. There's like an actual spot. Uh, on there and there's a folder seems like an uploaded maybe from like a Dropbox or something like that uh, uh, photographs from that day okay you can see pictures of the pier and the celebration as you're kind of looking through it um, you see the woman and her husband and their child all there okay um, is there any information on the phone that we're missing? So what am I missing, right? Yeah. Um, I think what you're missing, <laughs> oh gosh. the longer you look through the photos the older the newer that the photos get right because there's like timestamps and whatnot so you mm-hmm. can see like it was all uploaded at once and it seems like it's in a timely order uh-huh. right so it follows a time um you notice that there's more and more people in the pictures uh like in the background of the pictures and everything like that just standing there okay. looking up looking up into the sky and as it goes further and further, um, you actually start at the very end, you start seeing pictures of just the sky as if whoever was taking them just started aiming upward and taking pictures of seemingly nothing. But there's nothing on the photos. Nothing that you can see. And you could see there's like a progression of more and more people in the photos just looking up until eventually in the photos, there's actually a photo of um, uh, just the sun, right? And whoever has the camera is just looking at the sun, the the kid, um, and taking a photo of them. And they're just looking up. And you could see like almost everyone behind them is just looking straight up into the sky. Hmm. And it's after that that the camera turns and starts taking the pictures. You, you notice maybe about halfway through, uh, the mom sort of disappears. She's no longer in the pictures. It seems like you could notice, like, there's, like, a, actually a picture of her, and she's got, like, like you know, like a handkerchief or something, and her nose is a little red uh-huh. and raw, so it seems like maybe she has a cold or something. Huh. Okay. You have one more question. Is there anything else on the phone besides the photos that pertaining to what we're investigating? Yeah, so you look around um, and you find text messages. Oh, one second. Um, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do at all. This is what I wanted to see. <coughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you find uh, text messages. Okay. And um, you can see that uh, this is her phone, right? You know that it's her phone, and she had it. And you can see that um, she starts getting messages from... Uh, uh, I guess they would they would transfer over. Well, maybe not. Um, instead of messages, because this is like ten years ago, two thousand and eight. They had, would that would those text messages transfer over? <laughs> we'll say that she has screenshots of the texts. Okay. I think that makes sense. 
That's, that makes a okay. little bit more sense. <laughs> and um, uh, of these texts, and it's between her and hubby, right? It says like hubby, right? Uh-huh. And it, you're you're kind of scrolling through them and it starts off, you know, hey, you feel any better? Uh, things like that. How was the taxi ride home? That sort of stuff, right? And there's a little bit of correspondence and just like, oh, yeah, you know, now I'm home cuddled up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she asks about her son a couple times and seeing if they were doing anything good. <laughs> and eventually, uh, the texts start to uh, revert and s- not revert, but sort of degrade. And they beca- start becoming very short. Huh. Like, K, yes, no. Instead of, hey, babe, I love you. How's everything going? All those sorts of things from from the the husband, right? Oh, okay. And um, yeah, eventually, uh, she starts sending messages because she seems maybe concerned. She's like, "Are you okay? Is everything okay?" And then there's no response, and there's like a long list of messages from her, right? And then the very last one. Um, It says um, it's getting cold out here. From him, I think it's time to go. Huh. Do we know who we? Do we know who the phone belongs to and who the husband was? I can't remember to be honest with you. You do. Yeah. You know who the phone belongs to, and you know who the husband is. Cassandra, right? Mm-hmm. And her husband is. And from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. Is that Thomas? Who is? Uh, Doctor William Thomas. Who is? The Sandman. Yeah. The first Sandman we met. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the same man that we met. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Mm-hmm. Okay. The kid's Sorry. also amazing. Say it again. The kid's what? The kid is awesome. Right? Missing? It's is that what just, you said? It's just... That's what she said. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Listen, the ki- yeah, the, the kid's missing, right? The kid is missing, yes. That's what I thought. She mm-hmm. thinks the husband and the kid... But mm-hmm. we know where the husband is, so just the kid is Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And that's what you find out from that. Okay. That's all I'm kind of, that's probably all I have time to do before going to the tattoo shop later. Okay. Uh, anybody else, anything they want to do real quick after their downtime before they go to the tattoo shop in the morning? Or in the af- evening, I guess. Nope. Uh, Eddie, are you headed in there right after school? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so everybody, we'll just fast forward to that moment. Um, is there anybody else there, Lorelai? Is it just you? What, what's going on? Or is the tattoo shop um, closed? There, like, there's some, there's some people finishing up, and the rest of the tattooists. I mean, it's Thursday, so it's not going to be that busy. Yeah, unless you have uh, like some uh, stuff ready, some appointments yeah. and whatnot. Thursday the sixth, right? So there's like a couple, there's a couple people fall, uh, finishing up, and uh, some of the rest of the tattooers or tattooists are. Uh, cleaning up their station okay and i got pizza for for them too yeah there's like uh some uh, like a local delivery place that has pretty decent pizza that you ordered from decent pizza with good coupons right that's what we look for um and they delivered like i don't know six larges or something like that i guess something along those lines um 
varying toppings and whatnot, like pepperoni and extra cheese and, I don't know, <laughs> pineapples and ham. <laughs> no. Yuck. Pineapples no. and bacon on pizza. A Hawaiian pizza. No. They deliver a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. That was an accident. <laughs> I demand my <laughs> Shall we get into the debate whether or not pineapples belong on pizza? No, because there is a bigger there is a bigger issue. There are people putting strawberries on pizza. That's, That's fucking wrong. Yes. A warm strawberry? Yeah. I guess it's the worst. You get what? It is yeah. the worst. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. You know apples would be good on pizza. I mean, cheese, oh apples and cheese, man. It's delicious. Um, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Distracted. Committing sacrilege. Mm. Pizza sacrilege. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're back. Uh, we're, we're at Lorelei's. There's music playing. Um, everybody's sort of, like, hanging out. There's some of the uh, <clears throat> some of the people that work there. Uh, tattoo artists are there, kind of sort of cleaning up their stations and whatnot. And we find the four of you. Where? What are you doing? Uh, oh. probably in the back, I guess, hanging out. Back in my in my booth, my very large booth. Okay, so you've got your sort of corded off booth area, right? Mm-hmm. Where you're all sort Not of hanging out with that. like with like two or three pizzas, right? Leads yep. into the stock. I imagine um, Eddie there with like a two liter. Of course. <laughs> like, so, all right. So, what are you guys talking about? It's on you now. It's time for me to take a break. <laughs> so, I think we uh, we definitely need to go to that restaurant what's it called again starving <coughs> starving Star Star india yeah starving india yeah Did what was so important that you were trying to get me out of school in the middle of the first day <laughs> you know what don't worry about it eddie and she said, oh, that reminds me. And she pulls out of her bag a uh, brand new replacement phone for uh, for Lorelai. Sorry, <laughs> don't have it again. I have one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you want two? <laughs> she takes Back the up. phone anyway. Back up. For when you yeah. destroy this one. Yeah. Wait, wait, where did you get the money for a new phone? Should I ask? Do I want to know? Yo, you got a job. <laughs> yeah. I looked at the median salary. She's a very frugal person. Information is expensive. I make money. I don't like spending it. That explains it. So we want to check out the Star of India, because that's where... Walt, the person I can never remember, Walter... Um, well, Walter eats frequently. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Right. I'll toss the phone to Vivian. Look familiar? When did you get this? Found it. You found it? Yep. At the house? Yep. Did you find anything else? Yep. Do tell. Well, the phone has nope. a bunch of pictures from the day. Um, I've already like looked at what's on it. There's some text messages back and forth between the husband and the wife. They seem to get colder, like distant. And um, there's a bunch of pictures of the day, if you want to take a look at it. She starts thumbing, thumbing through. It is much like I described to Amon earlier. 
We should probably show this to um the fan man. Once well, yeah, we, we could ask him about that last message. That's very weird. Right? That's yeah. Weird. Oh, and uh, I pull out like a thousand dollars and I hand it to uh, to Lorelai and say, "Here, get the parts you need to fix up the van." <laughs> Already did, but thank you. <laughs> Pocket. Well, that's for the if it needs could use some new parts and for everything else for the van. Epic. To get it up and God, running. Here we come. <laughs> so. Thank you. Welcome. Where did you get money? Uh, the same place I got the phone. Wow. It appears I didn't destroy everything. Nope, there was a safe. But, you Good. know, the blast that you, you know, blasted everybody with, uh, opened it, so allowed me to actually, uh, get to the, the cell phone and the money, so thank you for that. Lucky. You can add that onto my, uh, talent, <laughs> I guess. Hmm. So which one are we doing first? Are we gonna speak to uh dr william <laughs> thomas or so what are we supposed to be learning from the the restaurant who he was meeting that's really the big thing i mean do we know did he go there every day he went there frequently what was it? three times a week okay and it was for half an hour half an hour three times a week that's kind of strange. It wasn't always a half hour, but it was a half hour, sometimes an hour. Very yeah, strange. half an hour to an hour is what he said. <clears throat> hmm. 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 Um, maybe we should go investigate the Indian place first because okay. if he is dead that news will spread and we might lose any opportunity if he was meeting somebody of finding out who that person was because obviously they're not going to go meet a dead man yeah well if he went there two or three times a week and it's already thursday he's already missed at least one meeting i'm guessing possible i mean if he goes there twice a week there's i mean there's possibility he had already went there earlier yeah <coughs> oh, so. so i guess we're gonna go investigate this indian place yep i mean right. we could just probably do both of them we could tomorrow or did you want to do it tonight we can go investigate it and then like swing by the sandman place afterwards I figure the Sandman place would be better to do tonight. The Indian restaurant isn't open. Unless we're going to break into another place. I mean, it's kind of coming our MO, isn't it? Find a place, break into it. Works for me. I actually like Indian food. I had tight pizza. Um... Yeah, the doctor, <laughs> the doctor's probably there right now. So, yeah, why don't we just go? <coughs> I would call first. No. <laughs> okay. Just show up. Yeah. All right. So that's the plan. That's what you want to do. Yeah. How so is everybody? <coughs> hmm. Did you say we're not calling first? Why would we call first? If he's got something to hide, he's going to give him a chance to bolt. Like how everybody's ignoring Lorelai. <laughs> I didn't hear. My, my, my week was, was fine. You know, a little breaking and entering. Nobody was watching. Typical stuff. Oh, it's nice to hear, Lorelai. 
Oh, well, I'm glad you're interested in how my week went. <sighs> yeah, I was concerned about you. A lot happened to you this week. I know, it was a really busy week. It Are was you very proud stressful. of yourself for losing your B&E cherry? No. God. I grew up in the same system that you did. I broke it enter <laughs> I've been breaking it entering since before you were imagined. You guys <laughs> broke it entered together already. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a favorite pastime of mine. Yeah. <laughs> What was the score? What were you asking? I, I, I go over to, to my desk and I pull out a diary, journal, whatever it is. Hmm. I went to Mary Warren's, Warren's house. Then I show them the picture and the diary. Anything good? I don't know. Is there anything good in it? Uh, you're not quite through it all the way, so you you, you got to get through it first. You might have to uh, show that a little bit more attention on your next downtime, and you can get through okay. it. Um, I, I mean, however, as you, you didn't notice Lorelai right away, but as you show the picture to everybody else, man, does she look a lot like Lorelai. That's what I was wondering. You, uh, you related to her? No. For all I know, I could be her. I mean, I get any warm and tingly sensations from hanging out in her room, so I have no idea. But, um, I mean, the weird shit happened. I've, she could have been ripped out of a body and I was shoved into it. I don't know. <coughs> Did you smell her perfume? <laughs> and the decrepit, burnt down house. Oh. It wasn't burnt down, but still. The, the, the lightning struck house <laughs> from the 60s. She's really into flower power, so we can't be that closely related. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. But, Viv, if you could do me a solid and maybe find some information on her, something, you know, that's like what happened to her family. She's got, and I point the picture, she's got a little brother. And, you know, parents, maybe they're still alive. And somebody who doesn't look like their long lost disappeared child can go talk to them. Yeah. When I have time, I'll, uh, I'll definitely do a bit of digging. Okay. All I right. So, I was going to say, we're all a bunch of misfits. So, what the fuck did everybody else do that they're hiding? <laughs> I got some evil roots. Ew. <laughs> what are they? Do you show it to us? Yeah, I'm holding them out there. So they're... Creeper and I got these. Something tried to grab me from inside my locker, and I went and took something back. Somehow it connected to my parents. I'll figure it out. Your locker? Yeah. What was this? Your, your locker attacked you? Yeah, the creeper pulled me out. Damn thing tried to eat me. Can we go back to your locker? Attack. Well, yeah, it's like that, um... You know, it's like, the living room is hungry. Go feed the living room. The locker grabbed me and pulled me in, and creeper pulled me out. No so idea I'm... what you're talking <laughs> Can I see one of those? And I'll hold out my hand. No. You don't like me or my phone. I'm not trusting you with any of my evidence. I don't have any problem with you. I have a problem with your phone. Okay. You said I got a couple pieces of this stuff that was left on the floor? Yeah. Person? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll hold up uh, one of the pieces of it. There were some sort of dark, shadowy tendrils, and when they died, they turned into this. You're too creepy for Robin Williams, okay? Just leave him alone. I'm gonna reach up and like grab it and like check it out. Yeah, it looks like uh like almost like a licorice root. It's like dark black like that. But you smell Did it. Do you get any like feeling off of this, like kind of like what his phone's like or Do you wanna have a premonition? Yeah. Let's move to you, Amon. Let's see here. 
So you're going to get... How about we do an <coughs> investigation roll, right? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do premonition. Okay. So you'll have a plus one to it. I'm actually going to give him a help. That's fine. So you have a plus two. Rolled a four and a three, so it's a seven, so it's a nine to roll. Okay, what's your question? Oh, you have two, actually. Um, where are they from and what are they? Okay, so where what are they from? It? What is it and where is it from? Who's your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> All right, so how to answer this question? <coughs> what are they and where are they from? So I think, <laughs> Aman, um, uh, we're going to expose you to danger. Okay. Right? Um, or, you know what? I think this is kind of like a combination of exposing you to danger and the clues are fuzzy, <laughs> okay. unfortunately. Like, so what's happening basically is you have, you see for a moment, you see this sort of astral sort of space-like void, right? And within the void, you see these, you feel like almost like you're pulled into it for a moment, right? And you see this one giant sort of yellow eye within the void sort of open up, sort of almost snake-like, looking at you, seemingly held back by some sort of force. And as you do that, um, the the root-like uh, substance that you're holding into your hand uh -huh. sort of spirals out and turns back into like that tendrily sort of... Um, uh, tenderly sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for like roots that sort of swirl and they start to like climb all through your hand you can feel them they're almost like they're going into your hand you get an extreme sense of dread coming from them and that they are not something of this world that you are aware of it's seemingly coming from somewhere else. And you sort of, like, come back to. I think, like, we see him on, like, just, like, he bl stares off for a moment. And then he literally, like, how would you respond to this thing sort of, like, expanding and going down your hand? You feel it happening. It is happening to you. I reach down with that, that same hand and try to grab onto the lamp. Because I know that it has some sort of power. Uh -huh. So the first thing that I do is to just try to grab the lamp and see the reaction from that. Are you, like, panicked a little? Or are you... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think we see Amon sort of start to, like, fall back. Right? He's holding the, the root in his hand. He falls mm -hmm. back. He's seemingly unconscious to the whatever is around him. Just staring ahead. And he le reaches down. He reaches into his, like, I don't know, do you have, like, a messenger bag or something <laughs> on? Yeah, I got, like, a little, like, the... Uh, the the man like purse thing but it like yeah. goes like across me yeah it's and he he like me. he's like reaching in and he's reaching in with his other hand and he's like trying to grab the the lamp he pulls it out and um i think when you pull it out in this um void right you can see it it's instead of being this like cruddy looking lamp right it's this ornate and polished looking large silver vessel Right, that is very lamp-like, right? That sort uh -huh. of oil lamp-like from straight from Aladdin, right? And it's yeah. like almost emanating this pure white light. And the um, you hear like that sort of echoey in the distance sort of screeching from whatever entity is out there, uh -huh. right? And as you hold it, you kind of present it forward. The tendrils sort of fade away. And at this point outside, like we can see the root in his hand as... He's holding it. The root falls to the ground and crumbles into dust and disappears. Right? Well, then, you're uh -huh. not getting any other samples. Jeez. And the large sort of entity in the back sort of screeches. And it's at this point that you're like, you kind of get pulled back 
away from that black void and it suddenly just fades with like um that like blurred light and from behind you comes where you are sitting right it kind of fades in from that um from the darkness behind you we're looking at the front of you and all of a sudden like it just catches up to you and like slams into you almost and you just like shake awake you okay what'd you see yeah, I mean, what is everybody else doing when this is happening? So well, let's talk about that. If I root kind of, like, go active, I'd probably try to grab it and take it off of him. Because I don't want him to get Yeah, I mean, that's, like, how he falls away, right? He falls yeah. back and lunges back. This happens all, like, within seconds. Yeah. So I probably went for him and <clears> missed. <throat> yeah. What about Lorelai and uh, Vivian? Well, if I saw the thing move in his hand, I would try and, like, rip it off of him. There's but... nothing moving in his hand. He's just holding okay. it. Yeah. yeah. So we don't see the thing expanding. We just nope. see the... Yep. So I'll try and catch him when he falls back. Yeah, you try to catch him. You're kind of, like, holding him, like, maybe trying to make it so he doesn't fall back into, like, some of the furniture and stuff like that. As he he's kind of scampers and push, pushes himself away from you. And grabs in and reaches out and then pulls out the uh, lamp. How does Vivian respond to it? Just watching. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you, it's at that point. So like Lorelai is sort of like holding you. You can see that like Eddie is kind of like over the top of you, um, like trying to like make sure you don't hurt yourself or fall back anymore. And Vivian's just kind of like. Uh, the werewolves attack us in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> quizzically, Vivian is quizzically looking you over. What? Yeah. What? What the hell just happened, Devon? I I saw. I think where this came from. Your mom's house. <laughs> you all talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. What the uh, big empty void? Yeah, there's something in the void. You need to be very careful. You need to hang around a mod, apparently. <laughs> there was a an eye that looked back. I've never seen anything look back. A giant eye. But don't you know the saying? You stare into the void long enough, the void will stare back. <laughs> mm. okay. That's a saying, right? Or is that a song lyric? I can't no, fucking that's, remember. That's, that's a saying. That's a saying. You stare in the abyss. Well enough, you'll <coughs> this looks back. Whatever um, this whatever this is wants to get out, and I think it wants to use you as a vessel to get out some way. That's why you were pulled in. Hmm. You need to be you need to be careful. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. And don't worry, I won't touch it again because I can't do that again. Thank you, though. Uh, okay, another another answer, another question. Great. Okay, but can we just take a note for the fact that whatever it is is scared of a mod? I don't think it's scared of me. Do you did you explain what happened? Yeah. Okay. Well, it screeched. I think it's scared of this, and I like hold up the lamp. Can I touch your lamp? <laughs> Can I touch it? <laughs> Can I have it? I don't uh, want to have it. Can I touch it? What is that? Um. It's uh, something that uh, Edna and I found on the day of the disappearance. Yeah. Or Edna, Edna found the day that I arrived to her and started taking care of her on the day of the disappearance. Hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to gingerly pick up your, your lamp. I, I'm going to hold the bottom of it. You can touch it, but don't. You're not going to take it from me. And what are you afraid I'm going to rub you the wrong way? 
<laughs> Christina. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what happens when you touch the lamp. So that would be. I, I, I like looking at it and everything like that. I'm back. I'm molesting his lamp. You missed so much. <laughs> did I? <laughs> what did I miss? Well, that was just a little um, transparency on what he saw. And... So you told them? Yes. Uh, Mon's name got changed to Christina Aguilera in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're looking through the lamp, and it just seems like a normal brass lamp. It looks kind of cruddy, kind of pockmarked and a little rusty. Does Ooh. it do anything else? I don't know. Like, does it pop out gumballs? I mean, what the fuck? I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub this lamp. Does this make you tingly? You feel something? No. You, don't feel <laughs> you feel an annoyance in the form. Uh, okay, so um, how's Eddie responding to this information? Uh, well, he knew something was in there that grabbed him. Now he knows it's got a big eye. <laughs> um, it's another question to look into. Kind of curious and maybe a little bit worried. Right. But more curious than anything else. <coughs> okay. Uh, but Amon did tell him to be careful going forward, so he'll take that advice. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any more rituals alone. Um, yeah. Okay, so wait, wait, what do you mean it was afraid of the lamp? It's well, a lamp. I don't, it's I don't a... know if it was afraid of the lamp or if it was afraid of what the lamp is. I don't know what the lamp is, so... It's a lamp. It looking like a lamp. It's not just a lamp. It's something else. Oh, like my phone. Kind of. Like my tattoo. Kind of. Like... Never mind. You don't have anything special. Uh, like, like this, like this, this uh, serial resurrection. <laughs> Gonna go with lifespan. Maybe okay. you're, maybe she's a cat. Maybe you only got nine of those. Have you done it more than nine times? <coughs> I would assume so, right? Definitely, definitely yeah. more than nine. Okay. So your lamp is special. My phone is special. My backpack special. Your tattoo is special. Do you have any way, Eddie, of maybe making some kind of weird, runey spell to, like, get more information about these items? Slash being slash things? I, I don't think my tattoo is the thing. I think my tattoo is a result of the well, thing. Well, maybe you have, like, some kind of memory spell on you or something, you know? Maybe you're under a spell right now. I'm just saying. And if there's... I am, I definitely don't want Eddie fucking it. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I'm think... gonna. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come out, fucking having to sit next to Edna for the rest of my life. All right. And Amon's already. Amon's already got enough shit on his plate. <laughs> I'll push you around in a wheelchair. You can fuck off. <laughs> I mean, uh, do you really want him to craft a spell after it just happened and what we just learned? Okay, well, alright. So I understand that the Star of India shit is... But we're no closer to understanding what we are. We're freaks. I'm just saying we're probably not going to find that answer in a library. Yeah, this, no. These are yeah, supernatural questions that probably need some kind of supernatural 
roots. Yep, yeah, books about the berries. <coughs> I assume. At least not in any normal library, you're right. Alright, we'll call Buffy and see if we can borrow her fucking Who? Well, we, well, the Indian place you already said is closed, and we can't go there till tomorrow, but right. we can Let's go, go to Dr. William Thomas. Dr. Thomas. We should call him first. He is not, like... He's working with us. Yes. Okay, give him a call. Besides, if he like does something bad anyway, we we know his boss now. So yeah. Every time if my, a mom looks away from me, I'm gonna start rubbing his lamp again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Are you getting like a Are you getting like a warming sensation like in your leg? I don't know. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, at least use like a rag with like some silver polish on it or something to make it look nice. You don't use silver polish on a brass lamp. You use brass it was silver. It's brass. Uh, brass. Oh, okay. It was silver yeah. in your premonition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or then use like some polish or something to make it look nicer. I can spit on a rag and polish it that way. That's the best I got. Yeah, you're liable to uh, incinerate the rag. No, thank you. Mm. I don't think I have fire spit. That'd be interesting. Let me go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually okay, acid. Give, give Dr. Thomas. <coughs> oh god, I'm an alien. Uh, I guess I'll call him. Okay. Uh, um, you have his number. Um, you call him. What? It's what Thursday night around. Yep. You know, uh, whatever. And you give him a call, and I don't know. Um. Does he answer? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I'll say he answers. Okay. This is um, uh, Cappy's Nightcaps. How can I help you? Hey, it's uh, Amon. We met the other night. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Um, <laughs> A couple weeks ago. <laughs> we have some more questions. We found out some more stuff, and we would like to swing by and talk to you about it. And he, he says, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm here. If you want to all drop right, by, cool. um, I'll we'll be here be all night. In, uh, we'll be over in a couple minutes. You know, um, he says, "Yeah, uh, okay." Um, <coughs> uh, sounds good. And all he right. hangs up the phone. All right, let's I go. I didn't get the car working, the van working. So, are we gonna Uber this? Yes. I just got parts. Um, have we heard back from Akandi at all during this time, these three days? Nope. Have we heard anything about any deaths? No. Okay. Okay. To the Uber! Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Boop! And uh, we find yourselves out front of his building, getting out of a uh, Prius. <laughs> yes. Um, it's later at night, and you know, um, you get the light <laughs> of the city up around you, sort of illuminating the sky a bit. Um, but it is a clear, sort of cold night. You're just going to head right in? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you head in, and um, you find yourself uh, uh, up in the that familiar sort of building, up the steps, and you've got the, like, uh, um, corded-off area in the back with mm -hmm. the large um, drapes that sort of come over. I'm trying to blink on what they're called. And, uh... One second. Sorry. Um, you can see that... Um, that doesn't. Uh, there's nobody out front again. There is that like little waiting area with the um, the small table nearby, and you can see off in the <coughs> um, 
um, a faint light sort of coming up above the uh, the curtains uh, mm-hmm. from the back, from where you are. <coughs> uh, do you just make your way out towards the um, the steps that lead down and in and everything like that? Yeah. 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 So you make your way through. You see some some folks laying on their like uh, medical beds, right? Medical like uh, office hospital beds, and you follow them along, <clears throat> and eventually you end up at. Uh, the steps that lead down into like the creepy sort of murder basement that he has and uh sitting in the back um on the computer near a small bed is uh is your friend he looks towards you and he says ah hello hey how's it going um fine uh what 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 can I help you with? So, everybody's there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can't okay. remember. Did we tell him that we had the phone? No. Not no. yet. Well, originally we told because that's kind of how we got him to work. Are you talking about? Does he know that we ever had yeah. the phone? Yes. Yeah. So that's kind of how we got him on our side. Was just kind of like they're interested mm. in your wife's phone. This okay. could be dangerous. <laughs> So uh, I, I say, so we recovered some of the information from the phone. Right, and he... And we had to, we wanted to ask you some questions about some of the stuff that we recovered. Okay. And he nods and he says, uh, what do you want to know? Um, specifically, there we recovered some text messages and... They seem to get weird, and especially the last one that was on the phone saying it's cold and time to go or something like that, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, so you're just asking him about the text messages? Yeah. And just saying, you know, what's what's with the text messages, right? Yeah. And he says, I, I don't remember. Huh. What was the last thing you do remember? He says, I remember like bits and pieces of the day. I know that my wife left early. Um, <coughs> and that's that's really it. Like, I don't... It's like looking at a picture book and not remembering anything about it. Hmm. you remember any of these pictures and I'll like show him the phone right and he, he takes it and he puts his glasses down right or pulls his glasses up and sticks them together because that's how that's how he rolls and um he goes through it and he starts sort of fading through and he says uh, I I don't um, he's like, I remember, I know I'm the one dating the pictures. Hmm. Okay. And I'll show him the text message to say, what point do you not remember sending these? He says, um, I remember some of the messages and he, he kind of says like, I, I he and he points to one and he's like, I don't, I don't remember this, <coughs> right? And he says, I don't, I don't really remember any of these afterwards. It's at the point where they become short and terse. They start getting shorter, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit before it's like really obvious. Huh. Huh. Mm. Um. Can I see the phone? Yeah. The uh, photos are they dated and timed? Mm, yeah. How do the times on the photos match up with the text messages? I mean, 
as you see things start to start to get a little bit weirder and weirder. Yeah. And they they like line up with the shortness, right? Okay. So whatever happened is when he started to And of course we see nothing weird in the pictures of the sky, right? No, nothing. I mean, obviously there's something on this phone that's worth killing. Hmm? I mean, Dom died. They took the phone. Oh, killing for. Killing for. Yeah. Yeah. Um... She made that clear. <laughs> um... I send the photos to my phone. Okay. You do so. Yeah. See if I can do anything with them on my end with the special functions of the phone later. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll just take a look at the photos on my phone when I have some more free time, guys. You had the phone back going on. Yes. Okay, so. Out of it. All right. So. I don't know. I'm sorry to bring up painful memories to you. He says, um, well, what I can remember, right? Yeah. What was the... Okay, so what was the first thing you remember after? Hmm. And he, he thinks about it for a minute, and he says, um... I was... I, woke up and he, he describes it as woke up woke up uh underneath the pier hmm. that's where i was the entire time when uh well, the he's... day of the event no yeah. no when did you woke up that day uh -huh. under the pier mm -hmm. everybody else By was yourself? gone yeah. Huh. Well. I got nothing. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> right. And he nods and says, well, I mean... <laughs> And he says, if you have any other questions, let me know. Yeah, if anything comes back to you, let us know. Right, and he says, I will. I have your number now. Well, thank you. Um, and he says, uh, it's, uh, Anything else I can do for you? He looks at you. Know. Okay. He looks how at you. How is he feeling? Yeah. How's like his he's he's a little like demeanor and like his like I guess his, his desire at that moment. I don't know how else I would say that. Right. He. Um. He's a little frustrated that he can't help. <laughs> he wants to know more, right? Yeah. That's his whole his whole thing. He would like to know more. And he can't. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so.
No, we have a couple. <coughs> okay, next, I think, I guess we're setting up a day for Indian food. Sounds good. Yep. Um, before, uh, Viv is going to try and leave last and kind of hang back and just ask him if um, <laughs> if he's heard from the werewolf couple. <laughs> she gives a description of them. Yeah, and he, he shakes his head and he says, no, I'm not I'm not familiar with them. Okay. I, just, um, I gave them your card. I thought they might need your services. Yeah, and he shakes his head. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't seen anybody. I can keep an eye out, though. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'd like that. Um, and he looks at you and he says, do you need any more doses? Actually, um, I do. I do. Do you have any you could spare? Yeah, and he shakes his head. And he's, he goes over and he gets you like two full-on death, death, death-making death, syringes. <laughs> two death syringes. Yep. Okay, great. Yep. Thanks. And he, he nods. This is a uh, much better, much better way to go. Yeah. And uh, he's like, if you don't mind, I'm tired. And he goes back. And uh, honestly, I'm feeling kind of a little sick to my stomach. So in real life, oh, no. so I think we're gonna we're gonna call it there, right? Yep. Um, we'll pick up with the Star of India next time. Mm-hmm. And we'll go from there, right? Sounds right. good. Uh, and see what happens with the Star of India and all that stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's go over our uh, our out outros here. Um, Vinny the Troll. Uh, geeking out over the credits. Oh, geeking out over the credits, yeah. And naming the episode. Yeah. So what is the name of this episode? I Spy E-Y-E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. That's not bad. I like that. Anybody else? I don't have one. Mm. I think that's pretty good. Uh, that seems yeah. good to me. Awesome. I Spy seems good. Um, all right. So let's start with, um, well, we'll start with Vinny again. Um, how has the crew grown, or um, I'm sorry, what character had the most meaningful interaction with your character this session? Um, I'm really glad that Amon did what he did. Okay, so help for Amon? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, yeah. I think that makes sense. Chance and, yeah, he took a chance and we got information out of it. Yeah, and like he's, he was exposed to something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Amon. Um, uh, is it gonna be a hurt for Eddie? Because <laughs> of what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I thought as much. That's the only thing I can think of. Either that or help for Lorelai because she invited everybody over and kind of like showed her softer side. But I think the, the Eddie was that, thing kind was of that R2-D2? Went, went over it. <laughs> there was somebody R2? outside. I had the window open behind me. <laughs> it sounded like R2-D2 <laughs> when he shorts out. Uh -huh. yeah. That sounded like a murder. Um, okay. So what was that again? Hurt, hurt for Eddie? Yeah. Okay. Um, Lorelai? Uh, help for Vivian. Yes. Okay. Uh, I gave him on a help last week. Fair enough. Vivian? Uh, it's going to be a herd for Eddie. For yeah. uh, ignoring the call. Ah. Man, Eddie, racking up the hurts. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. <sighs> Only one help left. <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah, we named the episode. We did our geeking out during the credits. The credits yeah. roll, we'll say the, everybody's names, all that stuff. Um, yep, we'll do the. We'll do my character. What? I have three attentions. Oh, in what? 
Oh, you gotta level up. Uh, fire within again. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it next time. Okay. Or we'll do it off screen. I don't know. We'll figure it That's out. That's fine. Um, Deathly hopes you're okay. Thanks, Deathly. Uh, <laughs> just, I don't know. We're just all of a sudden, I'm slowly starting to fade, and I'm like, oh, not feeling well. So I'm like, I gotta call it. I don't know. Whatever. It's okay. Um, what am I doing? Who are we talking to next? Oh, outros. Are we thinking, um, yeah. Let's go ahead. Uh, Vinny the Troll, you got anything for us? I got nothing. Just Velas. Recovery and video games. Yeah. Velas. Um, I believe Lost is next Saturday. Yep. Yes. Is it next Saturday already? Next yeah. Saturday. Yep, yep, yep. It's the first. Yeah, look at that. I'll actually be doing that from Maryland. So. Cool. All right. Uh, Avenue. Nope, nope. Hope you feel better. Did you tell your sister about? I did. Um... I did. Okay. Yeah. I, I guarantee you guys should post them. Post them on. Uh, post them on Reddit. People are gonna. I love definitely them. think Victoria should. Zaku, okay. my sister's been doing art of the lost characters. Oh, nice. Um, and she's... She's doing speed well, drawings. She's, yeah, she's been doing speed drawings and stuff. Which are on videos. her Instagram. I think it's at Victoria underscore Mellon, at BA Mellon. Uh, I can tell you in a minute. She also has them on YouTube. Yeah. So we oh, have a YouTube link. On, YouTube? Yeah, on her YouTube channel. Oh, she hasn't posted in such a long time. Deathly, I can't wait until you do Willem. I want to see it. Yay. <coughs> um... Everyone's a cool design. Who else? There's me and me next. You and the... Oh, me. Um, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Orson underscore Fells. Uh, it's, right, it's right in the thing. Oh, this way. This way. Boop. Right there. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I'm going to be streaming on my own channel. I don't know uh, when I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, but I am going to be doing it at some point. I'm just waiting for my green screen to come in, which I'm super stoked about. Uh, get that green screen set up. Maybe play some Pokemon. Um, Pokemon, maybe maybe Magic the Gathering. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I really don't have anything else. You can follow me on both Mixer and Twitch. Orson underscore Fells on <coughs> Twitch and Orson Fells, all one word, on Mixer. Uh, we run this show every Sunday. At 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, so we are... we're only doing the first two weekends in December. Right. Yep. And that's what I was just going to get to. Um, we're only doing the first two weekends in December, so we're going to take a little bit of time off um, for the holidays and whatnot, because weekends can get pretty crazy on the holidays. So we want to make sure we have that free time to not have to worry about making sure we're here and trying to yeah. deal with family and anything else we might need to do. So we're going to take those a couple weeks off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Second and then they will be. And fine. we will we will start again in January. Right. Sixteen nineteen. Yep. Uh, bum, 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 bum. We also have, I also run another D and D show, the second Saturday of every month called the Alabaster Forest, mm -hmm. and we're at a pretty pivotal moment um, where people are going to have to decide what they want to do next. <laughs> So I'm excited for that. That's Yay. all I got. I will be streaming on my personal channel too tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch me throughout the week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I stream on... <laughs> making backup characters for that pivotal moment. <laughs> uh, I will be on this channel streaming Thursday evening. Uh, make sure you check us out. We have amazing streamers on just about every day of the week. And uh, Lady Jo, uh, who is not available today, might be streaming tomorrow on Twitter, so check that out. <coughs> um, and come back for The Lost on Saturday, and then we'll see you here again on Sunday. I hope you had a great holiday. Be kind to yourself. That's it. Okay. Yep. What? <laughs> you, you went. Didn't hear anything after be kind to yourself. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. All right. <laughs>
Goodbye. Oh, as I'm punching my microphone. Goodbye, <laughs> everybody. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Bye.